Hey guys, welcome back to Melbourne Underground, where we bring you the local and latest independent musical talent around Melbourne. I'm Dylan. And I'm Imogen. Today we'll be travelling down beautiful Brunswick from Jewel Station and check out the awesome record paradise and a couple of groovy spots around the area. Also, for a real change of pace this week, we're going to look at music in film and how scores and soundtracks are produced. Let's get underground. <laughs> Again, we thank you all for joining us in celebrating the independent music scene in Melbourne. We appreciate all of the love we've been receiving from Melbourne Underground, and the response has been growing every week on social media. All of you checking the stories and performances we've brought to you so far. Right now, we're heading over to Jewel Station. So far, we've been visiting stations from the outer suburbs, but today, we're heading closer to the CBD in the suburb of Brunswick. Today at Melbourne Underground, we're taking a look at Jewel Station, right in the heart of Brunswick. This station is surrounded by bustling streets of cars, trams and bikes. Let's go take a look. Brunswick's gold rush history has made this suburb a multicultural hub where it isn't hard to find the finest Greek and Italian foods. It's home to some great art and some bloody good live music. Speaking of, let's go have a look now. Just down the road is the Penny Flat, another excellent location to get some weekly live music. This music, however, is a bit more lively, but totally worth it if you're into that kind of stuff. South American restaurant that gave me a bit more of a liking to Latin music. The culture here was really diverse and I'm very fortunate to have visited it. Jewel Station. Make sure to check out the Brunswick area next time you're on the Melbourne Network. Thanks guys! Brunswick is one of the more alternative places in Melbourne, so stop by Jewel Station where you can catch all trains on the Upfield Line. Each week on Melbourne Underground we love having local artists come by the studio and this week we have Taylor Swift Morville. <laughs> Thank you so much for coming on the show. Thank you for having me. No problem. So first of all, how did you begin your career as an artist in Melbourne? Um, so I originally from the country, so I moved to Melbourne beginning of 2015 and then it took me about about 18 months before I got the courage to like actually go to my first open mic and then yeah I was just doing as many open mics as I possibly could just to get that because it, it was different from performing in my bedroom to then being like in front of people like it was just a massive difference between like the quality of it and so it took me like a good good 12 months of just consistent open mics before like I got the bedroom and the live oh, quality course. like similar. So. Did you sing at your country home before moving to the city? I, I didn't really perform anywhere. I just I just played in yeah. my room every day. And so. then got the courage when you went to the yeah, city. Yeah. Oh, amazing. Yeah. 
Um, so what would you say is unique being a part of the Melbourne music scene? Yeah, um, probably just like the community of it. Like you just mm. see, like even though I'm going to different open mics and that, I'll always see someone that I've seen at another open mic and another and, or another gig or something. And it's just nice to have familiar faces around. I, I think yeah. that's so wonderful about Melbourne. Yeah. Like it's, a, it's, it's, I don't feel like it's a competition at all. Like okay. I'm never competing. Oh, that's yeah. awesome. And it's always different at each suburb? Yeah, it's always different. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You get... Yeah, good mix of different people and different genres and yeah, yeah. It's just some interesting things. Yeah. Okay, well let's talk about your music. So yeah. I understand you use a loop, what is it called? Yeah, it's, it's, it's a loop pedal. A loop so, pedal, um, right. Yeah. What does that do? Cause, uh, yeah. So just like, you just, um, I don't use it too often, there's only a few songs that I use it for. Um, yeah. yeah, but you just kind of like, you just record a, a layer of, of something, either mm -hmm. a vocal or guitar and then you can just keep adding stuff over on top and it just kind of yeah. builds up into something else. Yeah, so what made you want to bring that into your craft? Um, well, back when I was a little, a little tot, I, um, <laughs> I was a big fan of Ed Sheeran back in the day, which... Who isn't? Who isn't, yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, so it started with that and I just, um, mm -hmm. I just used to play his songs, like I just used to replicate his songs on the loop pedal and then um, just whenever I'm in the mood, I do it to one of my own songs. So you will be giving us a live performance today. Could you talk a bit about your song that you'll be performing? Yeah. Um, so I'm just doing uh, this song's like a. It's usually like a really long song. Like it goes okay. for like at least eight minutes when I play it. So I'm just going to do like the outro of it. Um, and it's a song I wrote um, probably mid last year, mid 2017. Uh, it's called Of Course, and it's just um, as about a girl that I was incredibly infatuated with, and. Um, it's just about, um, it's just a real complicated story with her and um, I was just trying to capture that moment of, of, our, of our struggle, I suppose, and mm -hmm. um, she suffers with like anxiety and stuff, which made things like really challenging for, for everything. Um, so it's just kind of a song of like saying, oh, it's okay that you have anxiety kind of on the subtext and then on the on the forefront it's just um it's just like a longing song just a longing song for someone um yeah thank you so much for coming on the show today no, thank you for it's been an absolute it's been... pleasure hey guys imogen here i'm at music and effects in south yarra to see the evolution of music in movies let's see what it's all about just a short walk from Yarra South Station was where I had the opportunity to chat with one of their representatives about music, foley and soundtrack production in film. So welcome to Music and Effects. My background is originally uh, music. I used to do a lot of, uh, I started in rock and roll. So that evolved into music for film and television uh, and eventually into post-production, which is what we do here. So let's go into the theatre and we'll have a look at um, the main mixing room. So this is mixing, mm -hmm. so let's talk about some of the technology we've got here. 700 tracks going to 200 buses. In America the style is always a, a dialogue mixer, an effects mixer and a music mixer. Nine times out of ten I'm doing all of those. So it's complex, amazing interconnection, amazing technology. So the grand illusion of cinema is that the screen has got holes in it. Every cinema is like this. So the grand illusion of cinema works because when somebody's talking to you on the screen, the sound actually comes out from their face. So we'll go behind the screen, we'll have a quick look. This really large sound system, left, center, right, and subwoofers. And that's the illusion of cinema, so that when somebody's actually on screen, yeah. They're, on, they're, they're talking to you. Their yeah. sound is actually coming out of their face. Yeah. No. And that's the illusion. So this is our recording space. So we use this room for three general functions. Uh, one is voice recording. We do dialogue replacement. The thing that we do a lot of here is um, animation. We have all of these props. Under the floor here we have floorboards, concrete, vinyl, bush, sand, gravel, all sorts of surfaces that we lift up and uh, we walk all of those things and our foley artist stands here and watches the screen and performs the film. Mm -hmm. Everything that moves, everything that gets picked up, put down, every footstep, every clothes rustle. Our work is predominantly Melbourne based. 
it's absolutely a global industry and um, you have to be prepared to work with whoever comes through the door. You get high quality craftsmanship which um, liberates you to make creative decisions. You're not fighting against mechanical problems mm -hmm. but you're liberated to do beautiful work because all of the mechanics have been dealt with. That's a joyous situation. It's pretty incredible how film can be tied together through the use of a dynamic score and how it all comes together. It's a remarkable aspect of film that can be very underappreciated. Yeah, for sure. And while we explore Melbourne's music scene and dive deeper as the weeks go on, make sure to watch stories such as the ones from previous episodes you may have missed by checking out our social media pages where you can catch up on all the latest content from Melbourne Underground. Now to take us out today, we have Taylor Smith Morville performing. We'll see all of you next week, Underground. this video make sure you follow our channel or check out our social media by following the links thanks guys